Good snap. Ball down. Kick on the way. And the kick is no good! Navy wins it! Sometimes the reaction says it all. In Navy's first multiple overtime game since 2013, the Mids came away with a thrilling 23-20 double overtime win over East Carolina for the team's first win of 2022. We've got some resilient kids we're fighters, and that's been kind of our mantra this week. Just, we're going to keep fighting. You know, people might be down on us or whatever, but we got resilient kids. If you're at the Naval Academy, you're a special kid. It means everything to come out here and beat a really good team on the road, uh, first, first road game, you know, it's... It's, it means a lot to us. Tied at three to start the fourth, both teams scored 14 points over the final quarter, including a 65-yard touchdown from Ty Wabatai to Vincent Terrell Jr. Touchdown, Navy midshipman! And a seven-yard rushing score up the gut by Anton Hall Jr. I mean, I think I think this was something a big spark that we needed. Just the confidence level. We knew we could do it. We knew our team uh, could could fight like this. Could could uh, accomplish. Uh, the goals we wanted to accomplish, but I think it's definitely a big momentum boost for us. So. In the first overtime period, the Pirates and Mids both hit field goals to take it to a second overtime. Senior kicker Daniel Davies made the would-be game winner in the second overtime prior to ECU's miss. And it is good! Saturday marked Davies' first game as a starting kicker in college. He went 3-for-3 three three on field goals with two made extra points. You can't really describe it. Uh... It feels good. We needed that win so bad. So you kind of, I mean, that's kind of what you prepare for in practice is like a game winner type situation. Every kick in practice is a game winner. So when it gets to the moment, we're ready for it. Navy played with something to prove. The Mids fought until the end and grinded out a win. The team's fifth in a row in Greenville. Victories like these can pay dividends to a team's psyche. Yeah, it's a great feeling. You know, being with these guys for four years now, we've, we've grinded um, over and over and like, this season hasn't started the way we want it to, but we got a long way to go, and this was a huge win for us. And so this was a huge game for us, and I, I told our guys, I thought this was our, this was gonna have to be the biggest game this game, because I felt like it would catapult us for the rest of the season, going on the road against a really good team that's been playing well, and I'm just so proud of them just battling tooth and nail to the end. Well, this moment's sweet. It's back to business Monday for Navy as the Mids head out to Colorado Springs to take on Air Force. For Navy Sports, I'm Phil Bergman.